I'm Ice Physics, and this is Final Fantasy, and we're going in to the Ice Cave. <laughs> so I read about uh, those mages. Ooh, gotta get out of here. And apparently they really are considered to be, like, extremely dangerous. And that chest that I died to, apparently, it only carries a cap, so it's a trap. So that's fun. Uh... I don't feel too bad about it, though, because I just saved outside, and we didn't really do anything. I think we did we did fight uh, some monsters. We fought, uh, like, the uh, the like the upgrade to the wizard. I don't remember what those were called. We might get... No, these are wraiths. So I don't remember what those were, but we fought those, and that was probably worthwhile, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much from an experience perspective. It wouldn't be too hard to recover all that, so we didn't really lose anything, so I'm not broken up about it. <laughs> broken. Um, okay. I wonder if I should cut the fights in here, or just do it in the overworld, because, I mean, here fights really matter, because if you lose a little bit of HP, it matters for the next fights. Um, so anyway, I was wondering about something else as well, and, uh, I wonder if we, we should use this to get some experience. That's probably a good idea. Harm 2... We can do Cure 2 or Harm 2. Let's go with Harm 2 so we can save some black magic. Um, I don't remember who he fought, though, so I'm going to start over. Harm 2, you can fight that. And you... You can just attack. Whatever. Yeah, I think this is probably a good idea. Oh, these are the wraiths. Good idea, poor execution. Probably isn't even... If they all attack first, it probably isn't even worth using the magic, because, uh... I mean, it would be worth it if we killed them before they got the chance to attack, but if it's after, we may as well just kill them using regular attacks if it's still gonna happen on the same turn. Oops. One, two... One... Two... And they're good, so... That to him. So apparently the holes in here, in this building, they all lead to the same place, so it doesn't really matter. But, like I said, the chest on the right is a trap. I'm not so sure about the one on the left. Not bad. That one that was bad, though. Why is Ellie doing more damage than you, Fred? Maybe Ice can make up for it. Pretty good hit. That's more like it. So, uh, yeah, when I was looking up the, uh, the enemies that are on that right chest, uh, the Flame Sword. I believe I also sold a lot of equipment, like, I sold a lot of silver gauntlets, and I think I sold, yeah, I guess it was my only silver shield, but we don't need a lot of shields, and I'd rather have, I think it would be more useful to have flame. I mean, I'm guessing. Oops. I think this is a required fight.
because this is the second time we fought these guys right in this area. Really? Well, at least he made up for it by dodging. Oh. Oh. Well, at least he can get her harm spell off, so that should help things. Not as much as all that, though. I'm tempted to use another one. Great job, Ellie. say, uh, I don't think I finished my statement. So when I was looking up the, uh, the enemy that was on the chest, the mages or whatever magic enemies those are, uh, I also found out the item that's, uh, because they, they mention it in passing, so it was hard to avoid. Um, but they mention, let me, let me do AI real quick. They mention what, uh, the item that you get at the end of this is. So, you know, I know what it does and how to activate it eventually when we do get it, so... Eh, that's a bit of a bummer, but whatever. They did mention that a character in Elfland tells you what to do with it, so... I guess it's not too much of a spoiler. to keep these people nice and healthy, or else if they get into the wrong kind of fight, they could die. This isn't the kind of game where you can just kind of keep them at half HP, because they will probably lose more than half HP in a fight, and there's not much opportunity to heal. Uh, so there's only two of them, so I think that's worth fighting. regular fire, though. Ah, oh. I knew I should have just had all three of them attack the one on the bottom. Just for some reason, I seem to recall Iced not being able to one-hit KO these guys, but that, that it didn't seem very likely, and apparently yet that didn't pan out. I think it's... Yeah, I'm thinking of when I use fire, too, and it doesn't kill them. When I think it should. Or, or maybe it was harm, too. Oops. I believe I got that item down there. Did I already look in there? In that building, that is? Uh-oh, red bones. Monsters are still quite clearly faster than us. I guess humans can only move so quickly compared to monsters. Close call. It seems like I avoided this room for some reason. Oh yeah, that's why. Oh, a tent. There's our ice shield. Uh-oh. Oh, it's an eye. I wonder what the eye does. Uh, yeah, let's go in Viz 2. He just fights, and... fast. Uh-oh. Well, that makes things tricky. How all he did was make it so that Zakes didn't get the level up bonus. So that's kind of a bummer. 
but we're far more powerful than you, so we can overcome that. Oops, we don't, can't use a house. I think this might be the... Yep, yeah, that's the floater. And they made a big deal about it, too, so I guess it's an, a required item? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. These, this is that required fight I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I think these two are the Wraths, so... Do our anti-undead magic, and let's throw in a little fire for good measure. Okay, we won't be throwing in any fire. That's okay. Maybe. Boom, nuke him. Even though this isn't the nuke spell. Oh, that one survived. Unless I, I was looking away, so... Oh, okay. But that's okay. What's his max HP? No, it doesn't matter. Into our next level up. Probably want to swap Fred and Ellie. 4,000, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4. <laughs> now Zakes is in last. I guess that makes sense since we fought. He died when we fought the most recent, most powerful monster. But still, it's ironic. On the other hand, maybe we don't want Fred in the front, because we're kind of running away from things more than we're fighting them, like I mentioned. My say before I decide to fight these guys. Let's do heal one. Well, no, 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 no. In this cave, we're, we're using harm to a lot, so we're not going to do that. But, uh... Well, speaking of which... Let's go fire three, just kill them, since there's three of them. Is it just me, or did that only do 16 health, which is less than what a poison would do? That can't be right, though. Close call. So I don't know if anything more exciting is going to happen in the ice cave, because we're really just trying to run away at this point. But, uh, let's see, how's everybody's health? I suppose we could start using regular cures instead, even though we're not in battle. You know, especially if it's only going to do 17 while we're in battle. He really does have a lot of HP now. At least compared to everyone else. 350, 190... Uh, yes, yeah, let's have some more healings done. Sometimes I don't sew this, but in this case, I'm kind of deliberating it. Like, it is... I'm not taking it for granted. I'm going to heal everyone by a lot of HP in this turn, so... In that case, it's kind of, I guess, strategic, which means, uh... I think we'll... Since we can just attack these guys directly, I think we'll hold off on using Harm 2. I mean, since we can attack them without being attacked back, and even if one of them does survive, 
But now that I think about it, I used Fire 3, so that definitely isn't going to happen. Uh, <laughs> but if one of them did survive, it'd only be one of them, and they'd be easy to take out, since it's only one, and they wouldn't do a lot of damage, because there's only one. So, that's a good opportunity to not bother with your most powerful magic, and just, eh, uh, not do that. <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't as hard to go through as I thought it would be. Uh, let's just go ahead and use a tent. I'd say we didn't do it t not a second too late, but uh, it's not like this is a challenge. It's just grinding opportunities, really. Now, the one time I decided to put every person on the second one except for Iced. He actually manages to take him out. My voice is getting a little scratchy. Oh, uh, Ellie couldn't keep it up. Now we gotta heal him off screen. I'm not off screen, but not in battle, which means we have to swap position again, but we don't have to do that if we do it in battle, because it, well, it won't shove him out of the, uh, his proper place otherwise. That's kind of silly. When you just put them right where they were, it, it, puts them over to the side rather than just kind of ignores the, rather than like ignoring the input. Canoe's so silly. It's like, oh you're these fantasy characters but they're using a canoe. I don't know why that seems silly to me. It's October 1st, so that's cool. Uh, because it's October. No, 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 these guys aren't worth anything. I would say that this is the the month when the weather starts getting cool, but it was actually 90 today. I mean, I know it's not like, you know, Arizona or anything, but still. Is that Caribe or Carib? I was expecting Ice to be able to take them out by himself. might end up just having to use some magic. I thought, oh well, maybe here's some free experience because they're we get an, we get a free attack on them, but I guess it took a little longer than I thought. But now with a unified attack we should be able to take this one out. Well that time he killed them in one shot. What do you know? This is the right way. So let's call. Okay. So now we can cross this river. I wonder what's up the river. Wait a second. We can just. I think we can. 
for some reason I was crossing the river to get there, but I could just, I think you could just go upstream here and you could already start to be going in that direction. So I was being rather silly, like thinking, oh, I need to start, de well, I think it's kind of obvious what I was thinking, and it was wrong. Now where did I leave the ship? I don't think it was by the town. Maybe it was. We'll find out pretty soon. Like I said, I th it's still worth fighting ogres because they still give you pretty good money. I mean, you still get a lot more by, you know, more modern monsters, uh, so to speak. But 195 is definitely still a good chunk. I feel happy whenever I see them. No, the ship isn't here. I think it's up north. It's worth it's worth going to this inn though because uh, this isn't so much more expensive than the the one I usually like to go to, just to save some money. I'm very frugal, you know. those spells, though, the warp spells and all that, like, when is that going to be unlocked? I mean, I know the condition, but I'm just wondering when that's going to happen. Ooh, goody. We got two of them. seriously couldn't kill them all with all three of them. I mean, they, they couldn't kill that one guy with all three of them attacking. That's just pathetic. Iced laughs in the face of those guy, everybody else. So, I think that the... Oh, here's the iguana. That really dangerous foe that... You know, it's just extremely difficult when you first introduce to it in this area. But, uh, and then it's still pretty tough in the second area you, you encounter it in. I wonder if this is the one that they were talking about. A mysterious rock. Oh. We get to fight these guys all by themselves. Uh, let's see what everybody can do to these enemies by themselves. Okay, he missed. Fine. So you got 23, not enough for a kill. I think maybe they have 50 HP. I mean, they're, they're enemies that... Oh, wow. More than I thought. So anyway, I know they talk about the floater in the Dwarf City, so they might have more of an update on us. And I thought it was some other town, but, uh, well, when I was reading the guide, and I, you know, didn't really want to come across this information, but I did anyway, they were saying that the, well, I, I actually mentioned this earlier, but the people in Elf, uh, land, someone there, says where to take that. So, I'm gonna go to the places where I remember them mentioning it, and then maybe they'll... Um, I guess I could have stopped here since I had to go over here to get to the ship, but that's okay. So anyway, uh... Yeah, that... It was either that vampire town, or the one that was attacked by the vampires, or it was the that, that southern city, but I think it was the vampire one or the Dwarven City. So I'm going to go to the Dwarves and just see if they have anything updated to say. If not, then uh, 
I guess I'll just go straight to Elf Land. Uh, this is that one place. I think the dwarves are actually to the north, so I'll meet you up there at the dwarf town and uh, just see what they have to say. So, see you then. <laughs>